Hello students. Today we will start with a fresh chapter which is from class 9th. This is chapter number 15, Improvement in Food Resources. Let us start with this chapter. The first thing is Green Revolution. The word Green Revolution is very very important. You must have heard the word revolution in terms of history but here this is revolution in terms of biology and this is green revolution what is green revolution green revolution is as you can see over here is contribution to increase the food grain so what is happening is increasing the food grain production what was the need to uh, do this kind of a green revolution because the population was increasing you know the population is increasing but the land does not increase okay, the land india has remains fixed so we have to look for some methods by which we can increase the production of grains to cater to all the population right so that is what is green revolution it is contributed to increase the food grain production next let's move further after this okay in the beginning of the chapter these two terms are very important one of them is called kharif seasons crop and the other one is rabi season crop first we will talk about the kharif season crop this kharif season crop there are so many crops which are grown in rainy season so this is important over here that the kharif season crops are grown during rainy seasons they are called kharif season crops their season is from you can be asked this so their season is from the month of june to october so from june to october these crops are grown what are the examples of these kharif crops we have got paddy as the example soya bean as one of the example maize is an example cotton green gram and then black gram so students all these are the examples of kharif crops so you can be asked what are kharif crops maybe in one mark they can ask you the which season the kharif crops are grown or like from which month to which month or they could ask give you three or four examples and ask you which one of them is a kharif crops the next one is the rabi season crop and this rabi season crop is if some of the crops are grown in winter season also as far as kharif crops was there they were in rainy season now we uh, come to rabi crop they are grown in winter season and it is from what is the time period it is from november to april what are the examples of these crops the examples of these crops are say the wheat crop the gram pea or mustard or linseed so these are some of the examples let us proceed further the production of some grains let me point out the important things the production of food grains has been increased four times you have to remember that almost four times kahan se kahan tak? from say 1960 that is after we got independence to 2004 so the production of grain has increased there was a green revolution production has increased four times you already i told you that the population is increasing so we need to develop the methods a better variety of seed has to be there better practices to grow them has to be there so that we can increase the production of food and we have increased the production of food say almost four times next point the increase in production has been achieved due to the following reasons and these were the following reasons by which these improvements have taken place so let us see those reasons one by one the first reason as you can see over here is the choice of seeds for planting so that is very very important choice of seed if you are going to take a seed which is going to later on develop into a plant which gives you very less number of seeds you should not choose it you should choose a better quality of seed the next one the nurturing of the crop plants you have grown the crop plants and then you have to nurture them you have to see that they grow up into complete crops they are not eaten away by insects they are not you know their growth is not uh, proper because of weeds and all that so you have to remove the weeds and you have to take that means great care of those plants put manure fertilizer give water everything we are going to see one by one so if these four times it has improved because of first of choice of seeds better seeds was chosen then better care was taken for the crop plants and after that the protection of growing and harvested crops from the loss as i told you protection of the growing crops is very very important from insects birds and all and then the harvested crops okay that means after the crop is ready you harvest it you cut it down and then you keep it somewhere and then also it has to be protected from insects from rats and from other animals so harvested crops so the loss is minimum if the loss is minimum the more amount of crop will be there to serve the common people okay let us proceed further okay so in india we have got following three scientific approaches are adopted to obtain high yield of crops 
So we have divided all these methods which we have used to increase the production of crop by four times by using these methods. The first method is called crop variety improvement, which includes uh, the better seeds as you have seen choice of seeds. Then it is crop production management. So how do you produce the crop fertilizers, manure and all so that the crops are grown fast. Okay, and there is less loss of the crops. Next, crop protection management. Crop protection management also we need to take care as to protect them from weeds, protect them from other insects. So all these three things are very, very important. Crop variety, crop production and crop management. We are going to discuss each one of them in detail one by one. The first one is the crop variety improvement. What is there in crop variety improvement? See here, the main aim of this process is to get as many of the desirable and economic characters as possible in one variety. What are they going to say? They are saying that the main aim of this process is to get as many of desirable and economic characters as possible in one variety. Now, this variety is going to be in any जिसमे जो जो आपको कैरेक्टर्स चाहिए उसमें ज्यादा दाने होने चाहिए शुड हैव मोर नंबर ऑफ सीड्स शुड बी डिसीज रेजिस्टेंट ओके इकोनॉमिकली आल्सो शुड बी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक यू शुड बी एबल टू सेल देम ओके एंड अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज शुड बी देयर दिस इंक्लूड्स इट इज रिटन क्लियरली ओवर हियर फर्स्ट इज डिसीज रेजिस्टेंस द क्रॉप व्हिच यू आर चूजिंग शुड बी डिसीज रेजिस्टेंस इट शुड नॉट बी दैट यू हैव ग्रोन द क्रॉप ओके यू हैव ग्रोन द क्रॉप यू हैव गिवन वाटर यू हैव गिवन फर्टिलाइजर एवरीथिंग यू हैव गिवन बट लेटर ऑन व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट व्हेन द प्लांट ग्रोस इट इज नॉट रेजिस्टेंट टू डिसीजेस डिसीजेस अटैक दोस क्रॉप्स एंड देन द क्रॉप्स आर डिस्ट्रॉयड सो एवरीथिंग गेट्स वेस्टेड सो इट इंक्लूड्स डिसीज रेजिस्टेंस सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज uh response to fertilizers it should give good good response to fertilizers right because continuously if you grow crops you know the land becomes little infertile so you need to add little fertilizer so the crop should respond to fertilizer then the product quality whatever seeds we are obtaining after the harvesting process should be of good quality should be a good quality seeds and next thing is it should give you high yield high yield means like how much of crop how much of seeds you are obtaining from one particular plant right so for example if there is a tree which 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 makes say only only 20 or 30 mangoes in a year and there is one more tree which gives say hundreds of mango in a year okay so definitely you would like to grow the plant which gives you more number of mangoes right so that is what is meant by high yielding variety of the crop so whatever we are desiring that particular crop should be disease resistant should respond to fertilizer should be uh, product should be of good quality seeds okay and it should give you a high quality seeds and high yield of seeds is also very very important for this purpose scientists have started using a uh, practice which is called as hybridization so this is this hybridization is very very important the term hybridization is very important what is the meaning of the term hybridization it means the process of cross breeding this is important word so you are cross breeding what are you cross breeding you are cross breeding two genetically dissimilar varieties of crops so there are two varieties of crop they are genetically dissimilar they are not similar so two different varieties of crops you are taking and then you are cross breeding them to produce a new one so and the plant which is obtained that the new crop should have the desired characteristics is called hybridization see you have chosen two genetically dissimilar variety say one of them has a uh, good roots so that it can absorb water nicely the other one has good amount of produce a good yield so you want now to hybridize them so that the plant which you get has better root system so that it can absorb water and minerals to a very good extent and also it should give you a great yield so like like one of them is disease resistant the other one is high yield so you want to cross breed them so that you get plants which are better disease resistant and also So giving you high yield. So all this is done by the process of hybridization. Let us proceed further. After hybridization, the various desirable characters are as follows. So here is a list of all the different desirable characters which should be there in a crop. Let us read them one by one. The first one is to improve the productivity of the crop. Yes. we should select a crop we should increase the productivity because the population is increasing day by day second one is to increase the quality of the crop the quality of the seeds also should be of a better quality next the third one is to develop resistance against the diseases against insects against heat cold conditions of drought or water logging conditions kahin pe jahan bahut zyada pani bhar jaye to wahan par bhi hamara crop aisa hona chahiye ki uska stem itna strong hona chahiye ki it should not bend or it should not become weak or the crop should not get damaged if there is a water logged condition or if there is drought condition it should be able to sustain some level of drought situation cold or if the weather slowly uh, immediately changes from 
hot weather to cold weather, the crop should not die. Should be able to resist some kind of climatic change from hot to cold or from cold to hot. Also, it should be disease resistant, insect resistant. So, we have to see all these characteristics. Some other characteristics are also there. The one of them is to reduce maturity of the crop. To reduce the maturity of the crop, say for example, a crop takes say full one year to mature, so the farmer is going to get the yield only after one year. If say for example, the crop gets matured in say six months, so then what we, uh, farmer advantage uh, he will get is that he can have two uh, crops in one year, right? So the time for the crop uh, for, for its maturity should be less. So we should always look for this particular feature. Next one is to develop desirable agronomic characteristics. What are the agronomic characteristics? Is something like branching of the the fodder crops. So if you are using your crops as a fodder for the animals, okay, for their purpose of eating, so you want that it should be branched so that it gives you more leaves, more stems, okay, so a more, uh, it will be more useful for the purpose of giving it for uh, fodder to all the animals. The next one is the dwarfness in cereals. After this, let us move to the next topic of crop production management. This topic of crop production management is little lengthy. So we are going to discuss this method of crop production management in our next video.